Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. Today I have another Dollar Tree haul for you. Just want to take one second and thank you all again for helping me hit that 1,000 subscriber mark without you. I couldn't have done it, of course, and I, I'm very, very appreciative and grateful. So we're going to jump right into this Dollar Tree haul and I'm going to show you what I just showed in my thumbnail like I always do. I found the Dove Pudding. Dove. That's a chocolate company, Dove. That's amazing. This one is the Dove Silky Smooth Pudding and Pie Filling and it's the peanut butter milk chocolate. It makes four half cup servings. And this one is the Dove Silky Smooth Pudding and Pie Filling Milk Chocolate and it also makes four half cup servings. Have you guys tried these? I didn't even know they made pudding. Me and the hubby, of course, can't eat this because we're doing low carb, but the granddaughters are actually here with us right now. Hubby, Poppy, took them out today for a couple hours. They're going to go get into some kind of trouble so that I can get some videos made for you guys. So I figured maybe me and the, the little ladies will make these and see how they are. I'm, I'm sure they would love them. But that was pretty interesting to me, so I picked them up. I only got one box of each because we can't eat them, so I'll, I'll only make them when the grandkids are here. But if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. And the expiration date is April of 23 on, on each one. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Can't wait to give them a try and see how they are. All right, let's do the food first and just get it quickly out of the way because I... I think this is my last thing. We just picked up one of the the um, Country Time Zero Sugar Pink Lemonade. You get six packs in here. Yes, you get six packs, Little the little envelope pouches. The kids, Ian and Hubby, seem to like this a lot. So he picked this up. I'm trying to see if I have any other food, but I don't believe I do. I really like these, so we picked them up. We were out of the, the pink lemonade. We still have the yellow lemonade, but not the pink. Um, let me, let's get the boring stuff out of the way. I picked up these garbage bags. I'm not sure I've ever used the big black bags of, from the from the Good Sense before. I always buy their, their kitchen size garbage bags in the lemon, but I'm not sure if we ever bought these. And I needed some black garbage bags, so I just grabbed them, but I'm, I have no idea what the quality is on these, but I will let you know once I finish this off. They are made in the USA and you get seven bags in here. They are large trash bags, and it says 13 gallon size, or 30 gallon size, I'm sorry, not 13, 30 gallon size. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think of the quality. I don't really need them for anything of, of super heavy weight. It, you know, it's just when you have something a little bit extra you want to throw in and afraid that, you know, the white trash bag is going to rip or whatever, I'll put them in a black one just in case. But so I just picked those up just just to see. I just needed something. And the little ladies are here, so we go through a ton of napkins. Just picked up, I buy these all the time. This is one of the staples in my house that I buy. You get 150 napkins in here. They work well for me. I like them, they're decently sturdy. Don't have a problem with them, so I buy them. And I actually had picked up a pack, I think it was like the week before the little ladies came down and. I still have about half of them, but I saw them and figured I'd better grab them while we were there. And the same with the paper towels. These are kind of the um, create your own size, the custom sizes. These are what I buy all the time. You get 140 sheets in here. They work well for me, don't have a problem with them. So I pick them up and we, this is what we use. So I picked those up and I actually have my last roll open downstairs. So I did need those. Um, also, I needed some more paper plates. We go through paper plates like crazy around here, especially with the grandkids around. Instead of doing dishes all the time, I'll just pull out a paper plate. And I've said it before in my videos, I stopped buying the styrofoam or plastic type plates. I, I buy paper now. And these ones are actually, the what are these called? They're called Consumers Natural Choice. They are nine inch uncoated paper plates. They're microwave safe and you get 40 in here. So that these are what I switch to when I see them in the store. These are the brand that I pick up. They're you know they're the uncoated. Of course they're not that sturdy. You know they're not wax lined or anything like that. And these are what we use, and they work well for what what I need them for. You know if it's messy messy food, we use a regular plate. If it's a 
peanut butter and jelly sandwich and potato chips, we, we use these. It, they work fine. Um, let me see, which way should I go now? Let's go to kind of like the health and beauty and type line. Hubby, hubby needed some saline nasal spray. He uses this every night before he goes to bed and it really helps with snoring. And he's been using this now for years, does not have a problem with it. And this is what he buys. It's you know a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I have no idea what this stuff co costs in the grocery store or Walmart or anything like that. But one of these little bottles lasts him for quite a while and it does work. He uses it and when he does, he does not snore. But this is by the Sheffield Company and it is a 1.5 fluid ounce little spray spray bottle. And let me see, it is made in the USA. And it says, what does it say? I don't know if there's an expiration date on this or not. So, but anyway, this, this is what he uses every single night before he goes to bed and it works well. I needed some of my shampoo and conditioner. These are my favorite. These are what I buy. 99% of the time. I will try other shampoos and conditioners. The little ladies actually have, a, it's a, the VO5 pomegranate, and I can't remember what the other scent is in it. That's what they have in the shower right now, the shampoo and conditioner, and they're really enjoying it. So you're probably gonna see those empty bottles in an upcoming haul. But these are the, the ones that I really prefer. And this name has been around forever. I remember it from when I was a teenager. It is Salon Selectives, and this is the Volume and Body Shampoo. And it says it's enriched with lemongrass, and this is a 22.5 fluid ounce bottle. These are the big bottles, and it says the bonus, 60% more. So these are what I buy all the time, and it's also the conditioner is the same. And this is the conditioner is enriched with biotin, and it says boost fullness and body, revitalize 22.5 fluid ounce, and it's sulfate free. They're both sulfate free. But these are these are what I use. I like the smell. I like how they make my hair feel. My hair always feels clean. It always feels soft after using the conditioner. So when I see it, I buy it. And in my store for a while, I couldn't find either one. And then they came back and they were just in the real small bottles. And now the big bottles are back. So I picked those up. And Hubby really enjoys this. He's been using this now for a while. He has a bottle in the shower as we speak and it's about a quarter of the way left. So he picked up a bottle of this and it is the bonus size 20% more, Alberto VO5. It's the men's three in one shampoo, conditioner and body wash. And it's in the scent Ocean Surge. And it is a 15 fluid ounce bottle and it says paraben free and silicone free. He really enjoys this and the smell is awesome. When he's taking a shower, even with the bathroom door shut, I can smell the smell, you know, in the upstairs, it just, it has a very nice, fresh, clean scent to it. So he really enjoys that. And he, apparently enough so that he picked up another bottle. I saw this and thought it was pretty cool. There are so many power stick products in the Dollar Tree right now. And my feet get so dry. Sorry, I know, TMI. But I saw this and thought I'd give it a try. It is the power stick for her which I don't know why men couldn't use this too, but it says ultra moisturizing foot and heel cream with jojoba, am I saying that right? Jojoba, aloe, and shea butter, and it's a 4.5 fluid ounce. It is manufactured in the USA. Has anybody tried this? It just seemed very interesting to me, and I, I always use the, um, oh, is it the Dove that's in the navy blue little, little tub? little container. I always use that on my feet. I can't think of its dove now. It, it left my brain. But I always use that on my feet and it works excellent. But when I saw this, I thought I'd pick it up. Oh, it smells real nice. I like that. That smells really good. So I'm, I'm curious to try this. And this was not sealed, by the way. I don't, I'm not sure if it was supposed to be sealed or not, but there is no, no seal on this. So if you bought this, let me know if yours had a seal on it or not. But I thought I'd give this a try. And I always, after I take my shower, I, I lotion up my feet and put on a pair of socks and you know walk around the house for the evening with the socks on. And it really helps soften the feet. So I'm gonna give that a go. I picked up, this is kind of random. I think this is the only kid thing, kids things that I got. I found these. 
I got four packs of them. I'm not gonna hold them all up, they're all the same. But these are the scented markers, I believe. Are these the markers or the pens? These are the markers. And it says super tip, and you get colors on each end. On this side, you get the orange, green, and yellow, and on this side, it's the purple, red, and blue, and they are called centicorns. Oh, I see the little pictures on there, are unicorns. And it says smell me, and it says three double-ended scented markers, and you get this, it just says red, yellow, orange, green, berry, purple, and blue, but it does not say the names of the scents. So I'm assuming it's like lemon and orange and I don't know, maybe green apple and cherry and grape and who knows, but I'm, I think the kids will enjoy these. And I got them those um, kind of coloring books with the stickers that you can make funny faces on the characters inside the book. I got these to, to add to those. So I picked up four for the four, the four older grandkids. And I'm kind of looking for the pens too. I think they have the scented pens. So I'm gonna look for those and see if I can find them, but I didn't see them in the store this time. And I have no, uh, no idea what other, what other things they have in this line with the scents. I don't know if they have colored pencils that smell or crayons, I'm not sure, but I picked those up when I saw them. Also for the kitchen, I have been on the hunt for these for two months probably. I had bought this same wooden handle, but it was gray, the, um, the spatula, the flipper, you know, the flip over eggs or pancakes or whatever. And I did not get an, and I got a slotted spoon. I don't know why that day I didn't pick up a solid spoon. So I've been on the lookout forever for one of these, could not find them in any of the stores we went to. I really like these with the wooden handle. They hold up well, they, they work excellent. So I wanted a solid spoon and I finally found, found them. And they're by Cooking Concepts and it says silicone and bamboo solid spoon. And they didn't have any gray to match the two two utensils that I already picked up. They had red and this green, and I can't remember what the other color was, but they didn't have gray. So I picked this up, maybe it was a blue, some, some shade of blue. So I picked up one of these because I, I really do like these. If you haven't picked these up yet, give them a try. I have a lot of skillets and things that are non-skit stick, not the like Teflon non-skit stick. Mine are either ceramic or, um stainless steel or cast iron. And I don't like using metal utensils in any of my skillets and things like that. So I'd stick with the silicone and I was really happy to see see that. Then I saw this and thought it was really cute. It's like a crossbody bag. I love that print on this. It's like burlap and it does have, it does have the strap kind of shoved down in. Uh, you probably cannot see that, but it is in there. And it is by the Juncture brand, which is now all over Dollar Tree, which I'm assuming is their name brand now, but it, they call it a messenger bag. And they had other prints. One was a, a red, I believe, and maybe like an orange color. I, I can't quite remember because this one was right on top and I loved it and I grabbed it. So I didn't really search back through, you know, through the peg to see what was in there. But I thought this was really cute. I thought it would come in handy. If you're going out anywhere and you don't want to carry your big purse into the store, you can just throw your wallet, your cell phone, your keys in this little thing, put it, you know, crossbody and not, you know, you could be hands-free. I really like that. I have no idea what the quality of this is. I have no idea. I mean, it seems like the straps are, are sewn in very well. I'm, I'm tugging hard and they're not budging. So I, I think it's going to serve me well. The strap is very long. It'll, you know, it'll definitely cross your body. So I thought that was really cute and I picked it up. I like that print. I think that is so pretty. And if you guys haven't noticed, I wear a lot of denim looking shirts, like chambray type shirts. I love them in the summertime and in the winter too, but I wear them a lot right now. And I think that will, you know, that'll match pretty well. So that's really cute. If you guys need a crossbody bag, it would be good too. If you have, if you're going to an amusement park or something and you're going to be riding on rides you know, water slides, roller coasters, things like that. Your kids, you know, you can put all their items in, in that and not have to worry about having your hands, you know, holding a purse and a wallet and things like that, your cell phone. So let me open this. I wanna see if, if it has a Velcro or anything on the inside. 
I'm popping little plastic things everywhere. Oh, it does. There is a Velcro, Velcro closure on the inside. You know, so that would keep things from flying out. And if you're afraid things will fly out, they I think they also sell at Dollar Tree the self-adhesive little Velcro dots. You could even add extra on there to make sure that it's really secure if you would need that. But I thought that was really cute. So I picked it up. I know when the grand ladies see this, they're probably gonna say that they want one too. So I'll be going back and trying to find them again. All right, just a couple more things, guys. I found this little headband. I love headbands. I wear them all the time. I don't think I've ever had a video with me wearing hats or headbands, but I truly do. I wear them all the time. And I saw this one and thought it was really cute. It's almost an off-white. I think it looks like it's coming up as a true white on there, but it's it's now it's kind of an off-white in person with black little hearts. And they also had the reverse. They had it in black with the white little hearts. But I wear more of the you know, white than I do black. So I'm, whenever I'm wearing a black t-shirt, it's like I always wear a white headband, just me. And this is by the company Fashion Accessories. It says it's made in China, distributed by Royal Deluxe Accessories, New York. And that's about it. But I just thought it was pretty. It kind of has the twist, the, the twist on the top and it is elastic for around the head. I thought that was really cute. I know I will wear this a lot, especially now, you know, that's super hot outside and I'm, I'm gonna love this. And my hair is getting longer now. It, it's hard for you to tell, but if I would pull it down on the sides, instead of having to push behind my ears, it's almost chin length on the sides other than my, my bangs are shorter, but it's I'm always wearing headbands and bandanas and things now. And the little ladies decided when they were down here, we, we like doing crafts. I buy a lot of bandanas, which you guys have seen in hauls. We actually took some of my bandanas and they got to sew a couple days ago. We turned the bandanas into little tops. We, we folded down one of the points and put a ribbon through it and then tied ribbons on two points on each side, one on each side for them to tie it in the back. So now they, they made their own little shirts out of bandanas. And they also took two more and each of them made themselves an apron to play with the kitchen set. They just folded down the end, made a made a pocket on the end, sewed it straight, and then they put a ribbon through it and they wear that as their little apron. So they had fun doing it and they really, they really enjoyed sewing. So, and I'm not a very good seamstress, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to teach them, but they enjoyed it. And I also saw these, and I haven't seen anybody haul these. It's gonna be hard for you to see because the little containers are kind of twisted, but these are called Flesh by Revlon. It says thick stick foundation, and the shade is the color of the package, and it may be hard for you to tell in that, but they are two different colors. I picked out, they had many different shades, but I picked out the two lightest shades because I'm I'm pretty light. And let me see if I can read it on the bottom. This one is 04 and the name is Sugar. And this one is 06 and it is Vanilla. And I'm gonna go ahead and open these, swatch them for you. This one is the, this one is the 04 in Sugar. It just pulls off. I'm gonna put the sugar here. That is very light, if you can see that. This is the sugar. That might work really good as a um, concealer under the eyes. But these were the two lightest shades that I could find. I'm sorry guys for the glare on the glasses. And this one is the, what number was this one? This is the 06 in vanilla. This one is like one step darker. It really doesn't look it though, does it? Wow, it almost looks the exact same color. This one may have, this. the first one may be more of a yellow undertone and this looks like it's maybe more of a pink undertone. I'm gonna have to look at this in natural light and see exactly, but I thought that was pretty cool. I may have to look to find one that's like one shade darker yet. There, there's absolutely no scent to this. 
If you guys have tried these or know anything about these, let me know what you think. I like the size. They seem very small that I could just throw this in my purse and it wouldn't take up much, much space. But I have not tried them, so I have no idea how they work or if I like them or not. But I thought the Revlon, why not, why not give them a try and see? So that's it, guys. That's all for this haul. I'm going to get this cleaned up. And before they get back from doing whatever they're doing, I have a Shein haul that I'm going to film. And I also have an empties haul. So I'm going to try to pump out as many videos today as I can before they get back. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you each and every one of you. If you like these kind of videos, Dollar Tree Haul, Shein Hauls, Dollar Tree Empties Hauls, if you like this kind of stuff, please subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Y'all mean the world to me, you know that. If you want notifications of my future uploads, hit that bell, click that like. You guys know everything to do. Have a great day, guys. I'm gonna talk to you again here really soon. <laughs> Peace.